What is up guys? Greed and Pride here coming at you. It's been quite a while. This is Mecha Bellum. I had my eyes on it um, for quite a bit of time. Finally pulled the trigger. I'm liking it a lot so far. It's like a little auto chess battler with giant mechs. The animations are really crisp. The visuals are really crisp. It's a good time. I'm not like insanely good. I'm only about 900. But I hold my own. So we're just going to jump right into a 1v1. Hope you guys have been doing good. I know it's been a while. I kind of sneak on and off this platform. Um, I'm going to go supply specialist. So for people completely new, you pick a specialist, which has like a little perk. And then it also has your starting army. So this, you get free money and you get a good starting army. So I'm going to go with this one. I love marksmen. I love mustangs. First thing you want to do is look over here at your opponent's army, check out their specialist. They're an aerial specialist, so these starting marksmen will, and mustangs will be really good because they're both good against air. The question is, what do I want? He's got crawlers and marksmen, so probably arc lights. This is like a good little anti swarm unit here. Anti chaff is what they call it in the in the biz maybe a little something like this this looks good I don't do like any super meta like placements like there's over on the right side over here it'll be like what's the most ideal placement for your units I don't care I'm just trying to play a video game um did he not get anything Interesting. I don't think he bought anything. So it looks like my arc light was a little too far forward and it took all the aggro that my Mustang should have taken, but that'll be fine once we buy some fangs, put it in front of him. Unless we're really bad with this tower destruction. Come on. Yeah. We should be good here. So I love Mustang carry. Like I just love getting like six groups of Mustang. Extended range, extended damage. Um, oh, there we go. This is what we wanted. And that gives us, so we got some chaff up front now to take some damage. And then that gives us the opportunity to buy two more Mustangs if we want to go into Mustang carry. I like putting them on the outside over here in case he does like a cheeky little wasp. Like a wasp flank. I, I try to keep it two spaces away from the edge in case he puts down like a rhino or something. Because then you can put some crawlers in front of it. And then I never do like the missiles really. I just like keeping the extra 50. So he, he went with the sledgehammers, which is strong. There's really only the one marksman over here that can deal with it. And then he went with phoenixes. Okay, so those Mustang buys were good. Very interesting unit placement. I was talking about how I do interesting unit placement. That's more interesting than what I'm doing. So the phoenixes, as long as we can get these sledges down with the marksman, I might have to go more into marksman. So the right side wins pretty strong. Looks like the left side's losing pretty strong, though. I'm gonna speed it up. My opponent likes to speed it up too. I like that. I honestly think it should just auto speed up. I don't think you should even be allowed to say no. So we lost pretty chunky there. Those sledgehammers really got us. Um, oh, he might go extended range. I'm going to go tech specialist because I haven't bought any tech yet. And I 100% plan to eventually. So I'll probably get the range on the Mustangs now. Then we'll do something like this, perhaps. More snipers over here to go against the uh, sledgehammers. 
upgrade this guy, and then we'll get one of our permanent buffs here. Are these little towers? While you're trying to destroy and protect, they have little buffs. So the left buff is temporary buffs, or the left tower is temporary buffs. The right tower is permanent buffs. So I will permanently increase our attack. We have a very attack heavy armor army with the marksman and the mustangs. So he's going way into sledgehammers. Did he take extended range? He didn't. He did the tech specialist. He can buy extended range though if he wants. I'm probably going to have to go harder into the fangs. He's just killing them way too quickly. I'm surprised none of my Mustangs have leveled up yet. These sledgehammers are just eating our buttholes. This is a tough one. I'm gonna go senior attack specialist. There's our first Mustang level up. So what can we get for 400 that helps against these sledgehammers? We can get one thing of steel balls. I don't think that'll be a huge help. Some wasps might be decent against them. I'm just going to go more fangs. If we can chaff up the ground, then uh, we can just chaff up the ground. We should be good. We'll have like a little later. Arriving one there, we're left with 50, no big deal. Then we're going to give them all shields next turn. Then that'll really gum up the ground. Okay, it looked like those fangs really helped gum up the ground. Looks like the... Uh, the Mustangs are getting a lot more damage going now because they're more protected. Left side's winning pretty hard. Right side's losing. Oh no, go for the tower. I hate it when they do that. Now we're about to lose because they went for our tower. The AI in this game is actually pretty smart. I very rarely am like annoyed with what the little NPCs are doing. They're actually pretty smart. Um, I'm going to grab that. Who did the most damage? 16,000. I'm going to put it on you. Portable shields really gum up this ground as much as we can. Stronger arc lights? I don't know about that. Maybe just set up next turn for like a hardcore Mustang carry. When I give him the extra damage next turn. Yeah. I'm liking that. So now we got the shields this turn. We're going to give the extra damage next turn. I think we're going to stabilize here. He's not doing anything fancy, it looks like. Extended range on the phoenixes. I might go aerial specialist on my snipers, actually. So the left side's doing pretty good. These level 2 mustangs do deceptively high damage. Those crawlers are still getting in, though. The crawlers are just doing too much on the right side. All right, cool. So now we get their tower. Stops them from getting our... Okay, we are, we stabilized. Uh, 
Oh, those Vulcans are annoying because he might go Vulcans. He doesn't have a ton of anti-air. I might go Wraith, but when in doubt, do the melting points. They very rarely have no targets to hit. Then we're going to get that. And then we're going to get Aerial Specialist on our Marksman. We have 150 left over. Let's get the health upgrade. And then we have 50 left over. I don't think we need to waste it. So he went with the saber tooth. Ah, oh, my melting point isn't exactly lined up with it, but it should be okay. Gonna get some range on these melting points for sure. The aerial specialist marksmen are already going hard in the paint. Looks like the extended range sledgehammers got me. Ouch, the extended range sledgehammers really got me. Um, I'm gonna get the orbital bombardment. I'm kinda on the back foot now. Range and healing on the melting points. I'm gonna grab another one to deal with this saber tooth over here. Gonna grab some more fangs to protect. So I got 150 left. I'm gonna do a shield over here in case he took the orbital bombardment as well. I'm gonna put it on the right side. He'll probably put it on the left if he's gonna shield. So he went shields on his phoenixes, interesting. Come on, get those phoenixes. Okay, there's a bunch of crawlers dead. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We got some crawlers. We got some phoenixes. The melting points with the double upgrade going hard in the paint. Look at that. Healing back up to full with pretty much every kill, almost. Come on, Mustangs. That's a huge tower hit. It's going to keep this phoenix or keep this melting point alive. Nice. All right, now we're both ready for the kill shot. Steel balls, blast. Sticky oil. I'm going to do the acid blast. Going to have to make sure I save a couple hundred for some shields in case he does the same exact thing. Free upgrade there, nice. All right, what can I do here? These fangs are not doing any damage. I don't think there's any reason to upgrade their attack. Those mustangs, there's really nothing else to do. Um, I think a couple more snipers might be okay. Cause those. Those phoenixes are kind of staying alive longer than I want them to. We have 150 left. Technically 350 if we want to spend some money. Maybe give the Mustangs or the... Give the Marksmen more range. Except I can't for 350. There's not a lot you can do for 350. I guess we can do range upgrade here. 
throw down a little missile over here. Maybe it'll splash up and hit the phoenixes. He did do the acid. Okay. The shield's going to block some of it. Yeah, they're just going to send it and just melt. That's awesome. Except so is my melting point, but it can heal itself. Oh, he went boats? Why would you go overlord against melting point and anti-air marksman? That's weird. He might have just put his own nail in the coffin with that. I'm showing two perfect counters to overlord and you buy them? Yep, he just he he understood. He gave up. There's round one down, dude. Back in it. I'm gonna have to get back into the flow of talking. I haven't talked while I gamed in quite a while. Except when I'm playing with my friends. We're doing a little Valheim right now. Doing a little Valheim, liking it a lot. A little too much walking, maybe. But it's good empty time to just chat, talk about life. Another 1v1. Guy has very similar MMR. Speaking of life, I saw Deadpool 3. It was hilarious. Um, I'm going to go Aerial Specialist. I like these tarantulas a lot. I don't know if they're the best unit ever. They're probably not as good as the last unit. This giant sandworm. It's like a Dune-style giant sandworm. I think that was a perfect design. The tarantulas are a little meh. I think they should have been more spider-like. They, they should shoot webs and stuff. If you're going to go into like a robotic spider, go full hog. Stormcallers, always insanely powerful start. Little annoying. What's good against Stormcallers? Probably just get more fangs, honestly. Just gum up that ground as much as possible. I'm going to move these guys back a little bit. I'm going to move everybody back a little bit. There we go. Something like this. So six movement speed versus eight. So they're not, they shouldn't overtake them. I'll move this one up a little bit. I don't want the tarantula to overtake them. We'll see how this looks. He just got more storm collars, which means I'm probably going to go Mustangs again, ironically. Get some anti-missile tech on them. Or maybe the game will gift us some Sabertooths. The anti-missile stuff on the Sabertooth is very powerful because it shoots independently from the Mustangs. So the Mustangs, their main gun shoots the missiles, so it lowers their DPS. Where like a Sabertooth or a War Factory... Their secondary gun shoots the missiles, and their main gun still shoots enemies. Well, he's going to win. Because Stormcrawlers are OP. Oh, there it is. There's a Sabertooth. Gonna put it like this. I'm not gonna buy the missile tech just yet. Let's see what he does first with this information. Something like this, maybe. I'll try to stop a little, little wasp flank, maybe. So he also went Sabretooth, and he put the heal on it. Interesting. I'm going to obviously have to put the anti-missile tech on it. He put his own missile just to take them out. Kind of seems like a waste. What are they doing? Oh, no. I messed it up, I guess. I didn't know they could, like, get stuck on each other. There we go. Come on, there we go. Now the damage is flown. Not enough to kill the saber tooth, and my saber tooth is dead. That's annoying. 
Speed up. Yeah, I gotta stop these storm collars right now or the game's over. Yeah, I know we're a parakeet. Gonna throw that on this bad boy. Gonna give them missile interceptors. Gonna do another one kind of down the middle. Um. What goes good? This is against Sabretooth. Ooh, Steel Balls. I might unlock Steel Balls, maybe. Because Steel Balls would be good against the Stormcrawlers, too, because they go so fast. And I'm going to give myself some health to uh, kind of pre-buff the Steel Balls before I buy them next turn. So as you'll see, it won't be the main cannon that shoots. It'll be this little machine gun turret on top. So it kind of doesn't lower the DPS as much as Mustangs. They're still getting stuck on each other. I guess I have to think about that in the future. I didn't know that would ever happen. It might be like a tarantula thing because of its legs being so wide. Still cannot destroy the Sabretooth. He put the heavy armor on it. I put the nano repair on mine. It's going to be a Sabretooth battle. Speed this up. Good tower hit. Maybe that gets us the saber tooth. Come on, dude. Come on. Look at this. All right. Tower hit. There we go. Now we got it. First blood, baby. Um. Oh, that's cool. More stormcrawler range. That's annoying. I might get underground threat just to annoy this. Level 2 Sabertooth over here. Upgrade ours. Get some roly poly olies over here. Just have them bum rush the right side. Um, anything else we need here? Do I need more fangs? It didn't really look like I needed more fangs. I'll just I'll upgrade the uh, damage. Well, I guess I could have put a missile right here. This is a common crawler spot. He didn't take it though. Did he take the better? Oh, he didn't even take the better storm crawlers. Well, this round is going to go straight to us because there's our tower. He upgraded the fangs with range. Oh, what the hell? Why would you upgrade range on your fangs? They're not even doing that much damage. Steel balls just decimate heavy targets. They're like little mini melting points, but they're way faster and cheaper. They destroyed our tarantula. That's annoying. So if he's going to go range on his fangs, we're going to go shields on ours. Um, ooh, steel ball production line would be good. But I don't have any giants. Steel balls. Um, probably going to upgrade our armor on the steel balls. Going to upgrade the shields on the fangs. Going to buy another thing of fangs over here so we can destroy their fangs a little quicker so we can get into that we got to get these steel balls on this saber tooth as quickly as possible and then i guess i'll be symmetrical with these anti-wasp missiles he got the steel ball production what's he going to put it on though he doesn't have any giants ha <laughs> now he's doing the anti-flank missiles i started a trend I wonder if it's worth getting a couple tarantulas and throwing down some spider mines. 
They're not amazing, but they do kind of gum up the ground a bit. Okay, well. Come on. Come on. Yes, we got one at least. It wasn't the one with super heavy armor though. That sucks. So this whole right side's a little it's a little off. I need to redo this right side. Because those steel balls are dying way too quick. Alright. His massive saber tooths is now just manhandling us. Um all these saber tooths. I wonder if just Russian overlord. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. For sure gonna go overlord. With that ground cannon. Um, is it worse worth going into debt to buy another overlord? Just to make this flank as scary as possible, probably. Let's do it over here. Let's get this right side hit better. So the only thing that can attack the Overlord right now is the Fangs. He's probably going to go some kind of anti-air, though. He saw the Overlords. I assume he knows that we'll take them. What can I do with a hundred gold? That's a permanent change to the map. Maybe a shield. Let's just really win this right side. He did go typhoons. Typhoons are not insanely good against overlords because overlords have armor. So we'll do the uh, field maintenance next probably. I am glad I didn't go wasps. I was thinking about going phoenixes, but I just don't know if we'd be able to get enough phoenixes going quickly enough. Still no giants for those steel balls to come off of. I borrowed money and he didn't, so if I don't win this round, it might be game over. I might need to do more saber tooths to com combat these uh, storm crawlers, maybe. So the Overlord's just eating through the Sabertooths. Nice. I love those anti-ground cannons. They're one of my favorite upgrades to get. Especially when your opponent doesn't know that they're coming because they just shred everything on the ground. Okay, if I get some bad tower hits, though, I could go down because I don't have any kind of healing or anything. There's, there's our tower hit. Okay, we win. Nice. Overlord Supremacy, baby. Portable shield. So we'll put a portable shield on the level three. Got to get this right. I don't want to put it on the steel balls. There we go. I'm going to put some fangs up here because I just feel like the steel balls are still just dying way too quick. They're still just like instantly dying to these saber tooths. So I wanted to get the healing on the overlords. Couldn't afford it. That kind of sucks. Melting points. That's annoying. And he put range on them. Damn. I think I'm going to lose this one. We gotta protect these steel balls better. Maybe we need more steel balls like coming from way in the back once all the chaff and stuff is dead. I might do that. Maybe three things of steel balls just right in the back line. Rude.
The steel balls are still just going straight into death, dude. Nice. Come on, get the saber tooth. Nice. This overlord is about to die to a melting point. Yep, that's annoying. I think I just lost. Just could not deal with those saber tooths good enough. I messed up the steel ball placement. I put them way too close. Should have been in the back line. I'm going to hit him with the GG. Why am I not? Oh, I'm in the wrong button. There we go. GG. Oh, not yet, not yet, not yet. Preemptive on the GG. Now, this is going to be tough. I think I'm going to get tech specialist. I have to buy two techs for it to be worth it, though. And I might not. I don't think I want to buy two techs. Definitely want to feel maintenance here. Definitely want late arriving balls. I think I'm going to give them the fortified target lock. I've never done that before, but this seems like a really good one. So they target the thing with the highest health. So hopefully it's the, uh, they go straight for the saber tooth and ignore the fangs. Um, let's pump up this range. I'm going to put crawlers in the back because I want to gum up the ground. So if I get 200 bucks here, because I'm probably going to die, what do I get with 200 bucks? Another saber tooth? Nope, I can't. I don't want the speed. The oil doesn't seem that good. I guess I'm just doing shields. He did oil. Oh no, he did oil Vulcan. That's annoying. That's annoying. He did, he might just win from that. That's annoying. Yes, the seal balls went straight for the saber tooth. My plan worked. Nice. Left side just got decimated. The healing, look at that. Look at look at the healing completely shutting down the typhoons. This is all down to the overlords. I don't know why this one's moving so slow. Good tower hit. Focus on the melting point, focus on the melting point, focus on the melting point, please, please. The melting point, the melting point, there we go. Praise Jesus, amen. Oh my God, those melting points, dude. Oh, do I have any giants? Oh, I can't, it's ground giant only. I'm gonna get photon emissions. Definitely get these overlords going. I'm gonna photon emission all of this over here. What kind of damage are these bad boys putting down? They're still they're putting down a lot. I'm gonna buy another saber tooth. Kind of drop down this, and I'm gonna buy another overlord. Kind of plop it over here. Kind of right in the way of the melting point, though. I don't want that. I'm going to put another shield down over here to protect my saber tooths. But these guys are going to get photon coated, so I'll do this. Or do I want to level up these fangs? Nah. Yes, I do. And then I want to get more range again. And I want to missile those fangs right there. Good. Photon coat all of this stuff, which does 30% less damage. So it'll really let these steel balls get in here. 
because they're taking 30% less damage. Oh no, this no, dude, this melting point's going straight onto this level three overlord. That sucks. Hey, the photon coding worked. So we won the right side pretty hard. There we go. These melting points are still a problem though. One more attack, there you go. Come on. Is that the comeback, dude? No, not yet. Close, close. All this stuff dies to... Melting boy, I'm gonna get the marksman, dude. Just have the marksman like way in the back. Maybe give them like extended range. Well, let's upgrade all this stuff first. Upgrade all the main stuff. Um, I guess we'll get the tarantulas because they take shots. So marksman, gonna give marksman the range. What kind of damage? These steel balls are still putting up some damage. So maybe more steel balls coming way in the back. Wink, wink. Um, definitely want the range. I guess let's borrow money again. Feels like I'm your father. Um, 200 gold, I can do two shields? Yeah, I think I'm gonna do two shields. In case there's any kind of sneaky missile launch or something. And this is it, baby. This is all she wrote. One of us dies right here, right now. Steel ball attack. Oh, I forgot to protect this overlord with some... Oh, I should put more fangs over here. Damn, dude. It just immediately dies to this melting point. That's my fault. I might lose because of that. Damn, dude. Yep, there goes the whole left side. Now these marksmen, though, are going to put in work on these melting points. He got the marksmen, too, though. Did he give them range? He gave them double shot. Okay. Well, it looks like I lost. Yep, I really needed to... The steel balls was not the play. I should have just went more fangs. I should have just gummed up the ground. That's my fault completely. You live and you learn. Let's get a third one in here. I always like to do three. When I did my uh, my magic videos, I would always do three games. Sir gambles a lot. <laughs> That's a good one. Deadpool 3, very funny. Absolutely recommend it if anybody's on the fence. An absolute love letter to the older uh, non-Disney Marvel movies, the Fox Marvel movies. Not gonna lie, teared up a little during the credits. There's like a montage during the credits. Not gonna spoil what it is, but brought a little tear to my eye. Speed sucks, Rhino sucks, Elite, not my bag. I like Fortified, and I like Mustangs and Marksmen. I don't know if anybody's ever had this problem before. My computer is like under my desk and it's putting off like a ton of heat straight up into my desk. And it's like creating this pocket of heat under me that I don't like. So I don't know if I need to move it out from under my desk or if I, I sometimes I put a fan down there to blow the hot air away, but I don't know, man. It is not a good time over here for some reason. 
I think I'm gonna move it on, on out from under my desk and put it like under my window or something and keep my window open. Um, steel balls and fangs. That means crawlers, even though I don't really like crawlers. I think fangs are a much better chaff choice, but we'll do a couple crawlers. Maybe we'll go to fangs later. He went crawlers too. Good. Smart move, smart move. Depending on how these marksmen target, I might lose this round. I might win if they get on the steel balls early enough. I should have won that last round. I don't know. I needed more chaff and less steel balls. I just get in a mindset though. It's like, oh, I already bought you know two techs for this unit. I need to keep buying them so I get my money's worth. But that's not always the right call. There we go. That marksman goes straight onto the steel balls. Yeah, I lose this round. That's fine. No biggie. I'll get more crawlers. I definitely do not think this is going to be a Mustang carry round. If he goes into more steel balls, they just have way too much health. Hopefully he destroys this tower. Yeah, I get some more XP. Dude, what if he actually wins this? That'd be insane. There's no way, though. Yeah, they're about to destroy this tower. Does he still one-shot them? He does. But then they do more damage to him. Um. Ooh, this is the story of a girl. She cried and she drowned the whole world. I'm gonna go scorpions. That's a classic turn two play. Just get two scorpions. Um, the marksman's kind of where I like to keep them. Maybe I'll do something like this. Have them soak up some damage. Keep them away from the steel balls. Keep them in the center. The steel balls are coming from the outside. Maybe they'll soak up some damage. I think I choke in the really, really long games where it's like round 10, 11. I think I just start doing goofy stuff. I get bored or something. He went fire badgers, so I'm glad we didn't go harder into our crawlers. Crawlers are now obsolete. I'll have to go into, I'll have to go into fangs as my chaff unit. I remember there's this one game, it was like round 12 or 13, and I have no idea why I did it. I bought three hackers and just died. I just got decimated. Could have bought Melting Points, could have bought like War Factory, but I just went up to like, oh, hackers will be good here, and just completely got decimated. Oh, we got Sledgehammers too. There's no way we're going into Marksmen, or going into Mustangs, I mean. Seems like he has so many more units than I do. I guess he technically does. Maybe I do just go harder on the crawlers though. Screw the fire badgers. Maybe I just overwhelm that left side with crawlers. I don't know though. Ooh, deployment specialist. That'd be pretty good if I want to overwhelm them with crawlers. Yeah, we'll just overwhelm this left side. And I don't really want to... Oh, do I go shotgun marksman? I've never done that before. He does have a ton of crawlers, but it would completely destroy their damage against any kind of giant or anything. I've never done it before. Let's get goofy. I'm recording, you know. Let's get silly. Shotgun marksman. Let's get his point of view. 
I don't know if anybody else does this, but I love doing this, especially on crawlers. Okay, well, he's about to get... No! I'm dying! Tell my wife and kids I love them. Okay, well, I gotta get more... Okay, how do I get out of this? Well, I definitely have to get more chaff on that right side. Left side dominated, though, which is good. That's what you want to do when you do left side, right side. You want one of the sides to dominate. He's going to go harder into the fire badgers now, which means I need to go harder into a counter for fire badgers. Which would be more scorpions, probably. Or more shotgun marksmen. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Let's put it on you. Maybe that'll stop you from dying so quickly. You won't walk as, as far forward. Um, do I really want to get, yeah, I guess. Now I get more crawlers over here. Crawlers, crawlers, crawlers. If you're gonna get deployment specialists, just get a bunch of crawlers. So he got the giant shield. What giant is he going to get? Oh, he's going to get Vulcan. That, that was silly of me. He's going to get Vulcan. He got more fire badgers. Why would you get more fire badgers when you have the giant shield? Just put it, get a Vulcan. More steel balls. More fangs. Fangs lose to crawlers. Interesting. Um, I'm like afraid to get replicate on these crawlers because I know he's about to buy a Vulcan. I can feel it in my bones, dude. I can feel it in my boner. I'm going to bet on myself. I'm going to bet all eight points I have on myself. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Nerd. No, this game's actually very positive. The community is very nice. This is one of the few games I've ever actually like talked to my opponent and had conversations during the matches because everyone's pretty nice. So now this marksman doesn't immediately die. There's too many crawlers for the fire badgers, except maybe not. I either need to upgrade my crawlers or I need more scorpions to destroy these fire badgers. The scorpions are putting in work though. He's got to go Vulcan this time, dude. There's no way he doesn't. Um, I don't really want any of this per se. I guess I'll get the Orbital Bombardment. I'm going to buy Replicate. Is he buying a Vulcan this turn? Almost certainly. Um, let's get another Scorpion on this right side over here to kill these steel balls let's just go full right side maybe he's got more stuff on the left though this is a tough one we'll get another marksman over here on the left as well Is that a fortress? Why would you do fortress in a mass crawlers? That's silly, dude. You're silly. You're a silly goose. No, how did he get onto my scorpion so fast? Stop them crawlers. All right, so the replicate is absolutely stomping him. If your opponent is going mass fangs and you don't know what to do, just do mass crawlers with replicate and they just destroy fangs like it's nothing. Hey, that scorpion lived. Fortress was a very bad buy there, dude. You need a Vulcan. If this round is the kill shot, I'm going to tell him, like, next time, dude, buy a Vulcan. Ah, there's a Vulcan. That's annoying. Um, Question is, do I go Melting Point? Or do I go Overlord? Because he has no anti-air at all. Except for the snipers. Huh.
This is tough. I'm gonna go the overlords because I don't have that much anti-air either. So if he goes overlords, then I'm screwed. So I'm going to preemptively get the overlords in case. Then I'm gonna get, do I get the ground cannon or do I get the healing? I think I'm gonna get the field maintenance so they're like completely unkillable. And then maybe I buy another one, question mark? Straight down the middle, question mark? No, I'm gonna left side it more. And then I'm gonna borrow some money and get both the permanent upgrades, which is a silly goose move that might've just lost me the game if he completely turns it around here. But I don't think he's about to completely turn it around here considering he got a Rhino and I got three Overlords. The only, he has two Marksmen to destroy three Overlords with healing. Yeah, this is a GG, dog. GG next time, Vulcan. GG next time Vulcan. So I think instead of those fortresses, if he got Vulcans, he would almost certainly be in a better position. I don't know if he would win, but he would definitely be in a better position. Then he physically could not win because he had nothing to destroy my overlords with healing. All right, those are my three little matches. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll definitely... Yeah, I thought the fire things would do the job. If only. If only. Um, Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked it. Oh, you don't get... You don't win your bet if you're the only one who bets? That's funny. I've never done any of these tournaments. I hear they're pretty fun. If I start getting... If I start getting more into this game, I might jump into the tournaments. Unit modification is pretty cool. If anybody just wants to sit here and look at all the units, they're all very well designed. A lot of love goes into this game. I like it a lot. I play it all the time. If you guys want to keep me, uh, keep seeing me play it, just let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video because I know I enjoyed making it. Thank you.